Hi, I'm James from the MTGU Podcast. We recently invited Kevin to join us on our show, and he encouraged us to submit cards for the Rogue Deck Builder Community Cube. During our most recent podcast, episode 27, we used our weekly draw step to call out our picks for the cube. Here is that segment. Thanks for watching. You can find our weekly podcast at mtgu.com or search for us in iTunes. Draw step. Last week we talked to uh, Kevin from RogueDeckBuilder.com, and he mentioned that we he wanted our submissions for his cube. And so this week we're not drawing just one card; we're each drawing six cards. One a primary. We're yes. cheating. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna. It's not. It's trust me. This isn't gonna be a four-hour draw step. And <laughs> but we're going to highlight a card and then choose five cards that goes along with it. So, Rich, you're up first. All right, so my card is uh, Survival of the Fittest. It's an enchantment from Exodus. It costs one colorless and one green. It has pay one green, choose and discard a creature card, search your library for a creature card, reveal that card to all players, and put it into your hand. Shuffle your library afterwards. The uh, support cards for this is going to be Vengevine. He's a 4-3 haster that just can get come out of your graveyard pretty easily. Dread Return. It's a sorcery speed, uh, basically reanimating spell that can also has flashback. Uh, Golgori Grave Troll, which dredges up your graveyard and gets big for the amount of creatures in your graveyard. Uh, Buried Alive, which allows you to tutor up some guys and throw them in your bin. And Victimize, which allows you to sacrifice a creature to bring two guys back out. So just basically kind of your whole graveyard package is what I'm coming with. Very good, very good. All right, Blades, you're up next. All right, so back in the day, I was a huge fan of elves. So this week, I'm paying tribute to one of my favorite archetypes, the Elf Bomb. My main card is Imperious Perfect. Uh, two colorless, one green for a 2-2 two, two elf warrior. Uh, other elf creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Pay a green and tap it. Put a 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature token into play. And then my five supporting cards is Elvish Promenade. It puts a 1-1 one, one, uh, elf into play for each elf you control. After that, it's Llanowar Elves. He is just a one green casting cost, 1-1 one, one elf that adds more mana to your mana pool. Well wisher, one colorless, one green to uh, add one life for each elf in play. Uh, Elvish Archdruid, he's another uh, elf lord ability that adds more mana to your mana pool. And then last is Ambush Commander. Forests you control are one one green elf creatures and are still lands. So it's all about the elf army, and I just want to start rampaging on. That's so fey. <laughs> <laughs> Get it. Faye. All right. <laughs> Damon, you're up. All right. So uh, my favorite card probably ever is um, Deadeye Navigator. He just does everything I want to do in Magic. Um, he's a big blue guy for six mana. And um, when he enters the battlefield, he can soul bond to another creature. And for an activated cost of one and a blue, creatures can flicker or be exiled and immediately return to the battlefield. And so what's cool about him is you can uh, move him around from creature to creature because he can flicker himself out. And then you can also cause other creatures to go in and out of the battlefield to tr trigger different enter the battlefield abilities. So he just allows you to really do, um, just abuse all kinds of cool stuff. So anyways, my support cards, uh, Woodfall Primus. Um, when it enters the battlefield, it blows up a non-creature permanent. Um, Psalm Simulacrum, when he enters the battlefield, you tutor up a basic land and put it in the battlefield. Um, Eternal Witness, when it enters the battlefield, you go and find a card in your graveyard and put it back in your hand. Um, Palancron. When it enters the battlefield, it untaps a bunch of mana. And so uh, between Deadeye and Palancron, you can actually make infinite mana, which is pretty cool. And then um, Tooth and Nail uh, is a pretty expensive spell that you can go grab two creatures from your library and put them directly into play. Um, and so, you know, theoretically, it'd be Deadeye Navigator and one of his friends. So anyways, he just he enables all kinds of very broken things, and I love him a lot. All right. Awesome. And... Uh Guys, do you get? Can you guess what color I've picked? Well, I hope it gets Purple. us out of this giant maze of green cards that we've all been doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course it does. Uh, my main card here is uh, Sulfuric Vortex. It's one red red for an enchantment, and it says at the beginning of each player's upkeep, Sulfuric Vortex deals two damage to that player. If a player would gain life, that player gains no life instead. Boom. All right. So, and then of course I just have a bunch of. Uh, other cards that try to win the game as fast as possible. Uh, Goblin Guide, I've uh, highlighted this card before. A one mana 2-2 two, two with haste. Lightning Bolt, one mana. Lightning, uh, Lightning Bolt deals three damage to target player. 
course, we have uh, Fire Drinker Seder, one mana, two, one. Ball Lightning, three mana for a six, one. Trample Elemental. And the Jackal Pup, of course, a one mana, two, one. So this is just a big steaming ball of speed. And death. And, and death angry. and destruction. And Whenever yeah. people draft this color or this this particular archetype in my cube, I always just call them the fun police. Because <laughs> I, I have all these things that I think I want to do, and then you play against them on a red deck, and you're just dead before any of it happens. Yeah. <laughs> that's the way I like to play. Get over fast. Big steaming ball of speed. You know that's what they called me in college. <laughs> <laughs> I thought because they called you quick drama. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> no, no, that fits as well. <laughs> <laughs> Badoom. Chink. Okay, anything else? Nope, I think that's I good. I think we covered it. Thanks a lot, guys. Here we go. <laughs>